Yo, 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 what's up? Uh, today, I'm going to talk about why do women go out? I remember when I was growing up back in the days, women would be ashamed to walk, be ashamed to walk around pushing their baby carriages or carrying a baby, baby and not have a wedding ring on. It's like, today, in today's society, the new generation don't even care if they're married or not when they have children. And people, contrary to popular belief, people think when a single mother, young girl has a baby, that she suddenly matures. She does not suddenly mature. She stops maturing. She stops growing up right then and there. And that's why these little children, these uh, young mothers and these kids, we're talking about uh, my mother is my best friend. Nah, she's not your best friend. You guys, your mother is a dumbass. Real simple. You don't like what I said, but she is. How? And then, after she has the baby, it's like she tries to make the guy hold, make, make the guy stay, but the guy don't want to be bothered. And the thing about the guy is the guy's a piece of shit from the start, more than likely, but she picked him. It wasn't rape. You didn't force her. She picked him. She chose that asshole. And all she cared about was how he looked. She didn't care about nothing else. Women need to realize that they got an urge that was instilled in them when it, from the day they came out their mama pussy. Everybody has. My mother had it. My aunts had it. I had it. Everybody's got the urge to have sex. And if you're not controlling your urge, you're just going to go out there and fuck anything. And then you're going to get pregnant by anything. And then the, anything that's not going to be around for you to help you with that baby. Got some Gucci's over there right now. Well, he's the man walking with his baby and she has a ring on. Nope, she ain't got no ring on. The motherfucker's gonna leave her ass. Gonna leave. See? I'm gonna fucking leave. Leave her ass. That's what it is. You ever go to a girl house and she got roaches? Ew. That's some nasty shit, bro. Fucking roaches. You go to a house and she got a fucking dirty mop in the in the corner. You a dirty mop and st shit still be wet next to a dirty bucket of water. What's that about? And all kind of sweet ass cereal in the morning. That's why you be seeing these children in the morning going to school with che eating cheese doodles and a quart of water because that's because they done saw a commercial that told them it don't matter what you eat as long as you eating something. In the morning, cheese doodles ain't breakfast. Fucking quarter water. You don't even know what the fuck is in quarter water. What is in quarter water? Quarter water, I'm talking about it's like quarter water, but I'm talking about it's the little drinks. Them little uh, sugary drinks, and they're real small and only cost a quarter. What is that shit? Call them shit's quarter water in the hood. Quarter water and potato chips. And this is why the children be so, so sleepy in the morning and can't sit still because their mother don't let them sit up all night and watch TV. A child needs eight, a grown child needs at least eight hours of sleep every night. But you, just because you can get up in the morning don't mean you should stay up all night watching TV. Some dumbass shit. And like I always say, uh, like I was saying, if you don't know me, you wouldn't allow me to just walk up to your child and start talking. So why do parents leave their children in front of the TV and watching cartoons? Cartoons are the most violent shit you can watch on TV. Because on cartoons, when I was growing up, they, they, were, they was racist and violent. That's when uh, Bugs Buddy was being chased by the, the African spear chuckers. And he was scared to put them in a pot of soup, a pot of boiling water and eat them. But um, cartoons, they shoot you and they shoot you, they, they stab you. They shoot you with born arrows, they shock you, they run you over, they push you in front of cars, trains, off of cliffs, they stick matches in your toes, they blow you up with dynamite, and then parents always wonder why their children are so violent. Children by nature are violent. Children by nature are uncivilized, and they have to be civilized. Children don't know how to walk when they come when they're first born, they have to be taught how to walk. Children know how, don't know how to eat, they have to be taught how to eat. Children don't know how to wipe themselves after they use the bathroom. Bathroom, they have to be taught that. Children, are, children don't know how to talk. 
children are animalistic when they're first born. Animalistic meaning they're just like animals. We are just like animals. We have to be taught everything. She scared me. She startled me. Oh, I see some people hopping the bus. But yeah, children don't know how to, children don't know shit. We have to be taught. And if a child's not taught, then they act like animals. That's why you see these children acting like savages in the street when they come out of school calling each other nigga on the bus and on the train. They animals, and if they don't have a parent that's gonna guide them in the right way, then they go amok, then they run astray. And cops use them for target practice. That's why you always see these young guys, every, you know, call themselves gangsters, and they're not gangsters, they're gangsters in the hood. But what do they own? They don't own nothing, they don't own that block. They think they own the block they're standing on, they don't own that block. And then when they ever break the law, and they're running from the police, the police go to the house and the children be hiding right under the bed in the house at their mother's house because the mother ate it in the bed and all that bullshit all her life. This is why society, this is why they, the government knows that a single mother is easier to manip ma manipulate. A single mother is easier to ma manipulate than a married one. And they know women need guidance, women need instructions. They don't think they need instructions, but they need instructions because they judge everything based on how it makes them feel. A woman needs instructions. If she don't get some, no instructions, then she'd be headed for self-destruction. <laughs> like Kenny Red said, she needs instructions because she does everything based on the way it makes her feel. That's why. She don't judge shit on reality. She judges it on how it makes her feel. She's emotional. Women are emotional. But uh, I just thought I'd say that. Let me get ready to get out of here, y'all. Hey, listen, man, subscribe to my pages if you want to know how I feel about certain things. Um, I'm sure it's interesting. I give you a different perspective on the way things are and the way I see it and my philosophy, all right? Take it easy, man.